Australia's Simpson Desert, an iconic trip for all four wheel drivers. It offers remoteness, harshness, and the perfect product testing ground. Today, we're joined by Penny Wells. We're gonna hit the Simpson Desert, test some products. But before we go, Penny, what are the top five products we must bring? Well, number one would be upgraded suspension. Your standard shockies just ain't gonna cut it with the heat out here. Number two would be a fridge. You gotta keep those beers, water, everything cold. Definitely. Number three, an awning. You need to get out of the heat in the Simpson Desert. Number four is your tyre equipment. You need to drop those pressures, but you also need to be able to bring them back up for road conditions and to deal with any punches along the way. Number five would be your recovery equipment. So your snatch strap, your winch and your treads. You can never have too much recovery equipment in the Simpson Desert. True that, Penny. Well, we've got all those products. Let's load up and get out of here. Let's do it. Mount Dare in the western edge of the Simpson Desert is our last taste of civilization before entering the seemingly endless horizons of rolling sand dunes. The Simpson is Australia's fourth largest desert of 170,000 square kilometres. Its vastness takes in portions of South Australia, Northern Territory and Queensland. For three solid days, our five fully equipped four-wheel drives with the latest offerings from the Ironman range covered both visually stunning terrain and challenging tracks in the harshest of conditions. So mate, you might want to just drive up because the wind is blowing straight over there. <laughs> oh, there you go. Know. <laughs> area. Like he's getting, but he's breaking up like an just to the You're gonna copy there, guys? Yeah, there's a spot that's um, flattened amongst trees, but the wind's roaring through it, and um, you're getting swells of sand roaring around. Hunted by a late afternoon dust storm, Making camp on night one was going to be a challenge. Days two and three saw weather conditions that were a little less hostile. But the relentless sand dunes grow ever more intense. From a mere three metres in elevation on the western side, up to a daunting 40 metres in the east. Man and machine advancing together against the elements. Ability complemented by accessory. The push east tests the toughest. Three days, 1100 sand dunes, 44 degree heat, Iron Man 4x4 crosses the Simpson Desert. 